Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelorette official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Now is the time to begin planning for the Golden Bachelorette Season 2, as the Season 1 final is quickly approaching. Joan Vessos, a 61-year-old Rockland, Maryland, private school administrator, is ready to give away her last rose. Joan first appeared on television on season one of The Golden Bachelor. Joan and 72-year-old Jerry Turner clicked immediately, but their romance would never work out since Joan had to leave the program early to attend to a family matter. When Joan was revealed as the first female star in The Bachelor spinoff, she believed her journey was done. Joan reduced her final two candidates for the Golden Bachelorette to 60-year-old Chalk Chapel and 66-year-old Guy Gansert following an exciting season of dates and controversy. Continue reading to find out all we know about the Golden Bachelorette Season 2, which includes the upcoming final rose ceremony. Fans were eager for additional seasons of the immediately adored shows following the Golden Bachelor and Golden Bachelorettes, first season's explosive popularity. The spin-off was the first unscripted dating program to concentrate on senior folks' romantic lives. With a steadily aging television audience eager for stories about individuals their own age, the historic show took off. Season 2 of The Golden Bachelor has already been confirmed, but Season 2 of The Golden Bachelorette has not yet been revealed. The Last Rose Ceremony will shortly air, and Joan's season is still going strong. Even though Joan's season didn't have as many viewers as Jerry's, it's difficult to imagine ABC not renewing the series. After making an appearance in season one of The Golden Bachelor, Joan was cast, and the next female protagonist is probably going to be from the same franchise. Several women from Jerry's season would make excellent candidates for the upcoming Golden Bachelorette. The names of 61-year-old Faith Martin and 66-year-old Leslie Fema are frequently mentioned. ABC has been running ads urging unmarried Golden women to apply to compete in the Golden Bachelor Season 2 during recent episodes of the Golden Bachelorette Season 1. It is difficult to predict when the female-led version will start filming because this indicates that the male-led spin-off will start filming first. For updates, check this area frequently. On the surface, Joan Vassos, the Golden Bachelorette star, is outstanding, but she might be dealing with major problems that should cause her to be cancelled. She made her Golden Bachelor debut with Jerry Turner, but the show's star was found to reject her. She persevered and was chosen for a fascinating new spin-off that gave her the opportunity to choose from a variety of intriguing suitors, such as wealthy control freak Chuck Chapel and hot dad Mark Anderson. Upon The Golden Bachelor, Joan tried to get closer to Gary by using her empathy and subtle charm, but her attempts were ultimately in vain. Instead, he went with another woman, like Joan Theresa Nist, his last choice is a decent woman. The problem is that, instead of sincerely wishing to connect with a possible life mate, Jerry might have been on the show to gain influence. Only months after their fairy tale wedding, Theresa and Jerry got divorced, proving they weren't meant to be together. After being rejected, Joan entered the Golden Bachelorette. That might not be the ideal place to start. In reality, Steve and other recent spoilers claim that once Joan chews chalk, he puts a ring on it. On screen, their frenzied relationship has been unfolding. Despite the fact that it might be a warning sign, Joan seemed to value chalk's alpha male style. He acted like a husband and was glued to her side on their date night at the bowling alley. This thing appeals to some people, but not to others. Everybody is unique. And Chuck resides in Kansas's Wichita. He is well known for his accomplishments in the insurance industry, and is well established in the area. Joan might object and ruin their relationship if he asks her to go with him, 
Joan would be the a location little shady might be if she went on the factor. show knowing that she would never change her living condition for anyone because she loves her family so much. This isn't proven, but it's not implausible. She might like the attention, the flirting, whatever it is. But in the end, Joan might discover that her current life is more fulfilling than starting a new one with someone else. Typically, knowledge comes with age. View the Instagram post above to see Joan in her element. Individuals become more self-aware and devote the majority of their time to their passions if they wish to be happy. Joan is a family woman, and she might come to the conclusion that she doesn't want a new life in Kansas if she is forced to pick between her life in Maryland. She may have already made that decision in private. One intriguing social experiment is the Golden Bachelorette. The guests on the show are not impetuous 20-somethings. They have lived for a long time. It's not easy to persuade people like these to drastically alter their lives for others. Therefore, the actual fairy tale conclusion might not be feasible at all. Joan may disprove others, but regrettably, she may also demonstrate that, because of living conditions and other factors, true pleasure is not possible on the show. As season one of The Golden Bachelorette draws to a close, I'm still not persuaded Joan Vassos will use this procedure to meet the guy of her dreams. From what I've observed, Joan hasn't found her ideal mate during the female-led Bachelor spinoff, and true love is elusive. The 61-year-old Joan had already attempted to find love on network television. She was one of 22 unmarried golden ladies who had come to the famous bachelor mansion to date Jerry Turner, a 72-year-old retired widower, as a contestant on season one of The Golden Bachelor. Even though Joan and Jerry clicked during their initial one-on-one -on -one time together, Joan had to leave the season early because of a family situation after receiving a call from home. Joan didn't aware that her bachelor journey had just begun, even if it looked to be done. Soon after being named the Golden Bachelorette, Joan was meeting her 24 unmarried golden guys outside the bachelor house where she had begun her adventure. Joan reduced her options to two men, but for the following reasons, I don't believe she will discover true love with either of them. Because Joan experienced true love once, she would know that it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Joan was a widower leading a somewhat obscure existence long before she was chosen to compete on The Golden Bachelor. Prior to his death in 2021, Joan was married to John Vassos for 32 years. When Joan learned that her late husband had cancer, she struggled to come to terms with the fact that he would not live. Joan was obviously very much in love with her late husband, John, and his death crushed her. Joan has discussed her late husband whenever she can since the beginning of her season. She has doubted her involvement in the performance and battled survivor's guilt. John sat Joan down before he passed away and informed her that he didn't want her to live out the rest of her days in sadness. He wanted her to strive to be happy and find love once more. Not too long ago, in 2021, Joan's late husband went gone. She has been a part of the Bachelor franchise for the most of her time as a widower, given that she recorded The Golden Bachelor in 2022. Even while Joan is presently enjoying the thrill of being the Golden Bachelorette, her emotions can shift once the cameras stop filming. Joan wasn't prepared to be the first female lead in the Bachelor spinoff, in my opinion. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.